morning guys my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel welcome old subscribers welcome new if you like my videos please press the like button and please do subscribe alexa what's the time please it's 8 15 a.m alexa what's the date today alexa the date today is saturday the 18th of february alexa What's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 10 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect cloudy skies with a high of 14 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. So the weather's got warmer. And I noticed it last night, I did. Um, so going back to yesterday, yesterday afternoon, I sort of went downhill for some reason, I don't know why. Um, I haven't spoken to my mum since Monday. Actually haven't spoken to my mum <laughs> since Monday, it's now Saturday. Um, really haven't seen many other people. I saw, obviously, I had a Tesco delivery. And I think you get wrapped in your own bubble. And yesterday afternoon, evening, just went down the pan. Um, I'm also like going through the perimenopause leading up to the menopause and I'm getting all these strange symptoms that sometimes I feel like I can't deal with. Um, I tried HRT, uh, the patches and I got headaches with them and really bad intense ones so that the, the HRT patch would work for a day and then the next day I would get an extremely really bad headache and be in bed all day with it and then I just couldn't get on with HRT so I tried the holistic approach trying the vitamins multivitamins uh, vitamin D multivitamins eating lots of things with iron in it because I was having heavy periods and that worked for a while and I'm finding now the emotional aspect of, of leading up to the menopause is driving me crazy. My emotions, um, the periods go up the chute. Uh, that's what I find, they go up the chute. I'd rather they just stopped and then obviously all the heavy bleeding and all the flipping, you know, the bloating, uh, feeling like everything's yuck would go away. Um, if they just stopped, then I think, think it'd be fine. Obviously, you've got to watch other things like your bone loss. You know, you've got to make sure you look after the rest of your body, your leg, arms, legs, skin, hair. So everything goes down the chute, but it's the emotions. I mean, if you're going through all these physical things like hair loss, dryness, and things like that, if you're emotionally stable, then you're, you're more likely to cope with it. But my emotions are going through the roof. One minute I'm down, the next minute I'm up. I'm also getting allergic to everything under the bloody sun. Whereas I could take something, you know, spray something, and now it's like making me itch. My eyes start running and I feel like shit. So last night I just, uh, just everything went to pot. My emotions and my whole body went to pot last night. I tried to relax. I took Max out briefly. Um, obviously they're working on the school and the products they're using are strong. So obviously you, you use adhesive to glue. They're making a school. They're building a school from scratch. So they, there's going to be strong smells, isn't there? There's going to be adhesive. There's going to be chemicals. And I was walking around the field last night and I could hardly breathe. I could hardly breathe. Um, wherever you build something, obviously there, there are, are chemicals, aren't they? The glue. And glue stinks. So does tar, tarmac, and things 
just like that. So, I mean, I came back from the field feeling pretty sick. Couldn't breathe. Felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, I'd got upset from the afternoon because I don't do anything for anybody. I just go for a walk, minding my own business. And I felt pretty shit. Um, I try not to let people get me down. People have got problems of their own. That's why they do sort of things. They've got their own problems. Some people want attention, and that's the only way they can do it, by acting stupid. Um, so it didn't stop me going out in the evening. I went out in the evening by myself with the dog. And normally, when I go out between 7 and 8, it's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet, but obviously they're building more flats, there's more people, there's more dog owners. So I, I just headed straight into like four or five people when normally I go outside and there's nobody. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. Uh, so I just held on to Max and we walked past four or five people. And then the field was completely empty. The other day there was somebody on there with a torch. The field was completely empty last night. Walked around it briefly, a little bit, not the, all the way around. And then I walked back home. But I hadn't been feeling great yesterday at all. Since the afternoon. Came back into my flat. And like I said, the smell from... The builders building that school had got up my nose and into my lungs and I felt quite awful. Um, I sat myself down, put the telly on, talking pictures and later on in the evening there was, there was a vampire film, a vampire film with, called Vampira or Vampira, however you pronounce it, with David Niven in. David Niven. And it was an old film, and it was really good. There was a coloured lady playing the part of a vampire, and she was a white lady. She was a white lady, but her blood got mixed with a coloured lady's blood, and Vampira turned into a coloured woman from being a white woman. Now you've got to watch the film to understand what I'm saying. So David Niven wanted his Vampira brought back to life and he needed blood. So this group of amateur dramatics came over to his castle, Dracula's castle, and was doing a photo shoot. When they went to bed, Dracula took their blood, with the help of his assistant, took their blood, and one of the ladies was a coloured lady. So he transfused this blood into his white vampire girlfriend, Vampira, and she turned into a coloured woman. And there were a lot of jokes. Remember, it was back in the day when that sort of thing was allowed. It really isn't now. And they were talking about going to Black Bottom and all that kind of thing. So I watched that before I went to bed last night. Vampira with David Niven in. Then I went to bed and... I mean, I could hear noises upstairs. It was like someone was sleeping above the slip, above the ceiling where I was sleeping. And every hour or so, I could hear, like, noises, like someone scraping a sofa or a chair about 2, 3, 4 in the, in the morning. So I'd be lying down. But I was awake already, so I'm not complaining about it because I didn't sleep very well last night anyway because I didn't feel 100%. I'm, not, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what happened. So I could hear scraping furniture in the early hours of the morning and, and maybe a sudden bang. But I was awake already, so it didn't affect me. It didn't affect me one bit because... I had not
had the best of days yesterday and I didn't sleep very well. Um, so I watched that, then I went to bed, didn't have too much of a good sleep. I've got up this morning and I've made myself a cup of coffee and I've sorted Max out and the cats. Um, it is a really weird feeling I'm going through at the moment. Um, I have gone through YouTube videos about the perimenopause and the menopause and the sensations you get. I've, I've, I have been exercising a lot. Um, I must say though that when I had the first COVID jab, it did affect my menstrual cycle. That's what I feel. Um, I haven't felt the same since the first COVID jab when I actually came home and partially collapsed on the floor after the first COVID jab. And then since I've had the blood transfusion, and remember that somebody else's blood that was transfused into my body, I, I, I just haven't felt the same. I'm not saying I don't, don't feel the same person. I don't feel the same. And with the weakness in this leg, that's what happened with the first COVID jab. I'm finding it, you know, odd sensations in my legs. Like I could, it's like I can feel the blood going down my veins all the time. Like it feels like butterflies going down the top of my legs to the bottom. It's a really weird sensation. It's not pain, but it's irritated. Because normally you don't feel the blood going down your veins, do you? You just don't notice it. It's irritating. But I am on my own a lot. I suppose if I had a bit of company, I wouldn't notice half these things that are going on. That's what my dad used to tell me. It's because you're on your own all the time. I really don't want to keep going on about it. If I've got to live with it, I've got to live with it. It could be far worse. Um, I, I don't want to get involved in it. Um, the messages that I had and that I said was something to do with what was going on upstairs, I, I'm not answering messages. I, I've woke up to strange friend request this morning someone sat next to an aeroplane um, liking my profile somebody that's obviously someone's gone into a sweet shop and they photographed someone in a news agent and they've used that as a Facebook profile and if you go through Facebook dating you will see a load of fake profiles some of these are scammers trying to look for vulnerable women that, that they think have got money. And some of them are just weird. And, and, you know, after what has happened to women off Tinder, and I'm, I'm going through an awkward stage in my life and I don't want a chap taking advantage of me. So I'm not answering these messages anymore. I, I mean, I used to spend 24 hours a day nearly on the phone talking to somebody who I don't even know who it was. We can't be certain. Uh, people do steal people's photographs and use them as their own. There's a series called Catfish where somebody thought they were talking to a man and in fact it was a, it was a woman a short, large woman, and the woman that was catfished was absolutely shocked as to who she was actually speaking to. It, it was a coloured lady, a short, large coloured lady, and she thought she was talking to a man. So 
So this coloured lady was having sexual conversations with this woman pretending to be a bloke. And do you know how, how horrible a person feels when they've been catfished like that? I mean, basically having tech sex and internet sex with what she believed was a, a good looking fella and it was a short, large coloured lady. be so careful you really really do and um, I've just cut it all out I miss interaction I miss talking but um, I don't know actually who I'm talking to do I hello lovely hello beautiful who was that I mean certainly mistook me. I think they've mistaken me for somebody else and that's their problem, not mine. Right. Lastly, Alexa helps me throughout my day. You ask Alexa something. Sorry, the Relax My Dog skill is no longer available. Relax. You can find more skills in the Alexa app. Relax My Dog? I didn't even know that existed. Um, Alexa, send me a sample. Sure. What sample would you like? Alexa, what samples are there? We currently have samples of Wilkinson Sword. Would you like one? I've already, I th Alexa, I think I've had one. Sorry, I did not understand that. Please tell me again. I've already had a Wilkinson Sword sample. Alexa, stop. But if you ask Alexa to send you a sample, she can send you a sample of a Wilkinson sword razor. There we go. I'm going to get off now. I hope everybody has a lovely weekend. See you later.